Along Tucker Boulevard sits this Shell gas station. It's been the center of dozens of crimes, including last year when a man was murdered across the street execution style. Police say they made nearly 600 calls to service at the address in the last two years. One lawsuit against the gas station was filed by the Neighborhood Improvement Association Downtown West and Matt O'Leary. It has just been an unresolved uh, nuisance that has burdened downtown St. Louis until um, its impending closure uh, this summer. They claim the gas station was issued a conditional use permit in 2003 in a central business district where gas stations aren't allowed to be. It shouldn't have been a conditional use, uh, shouldn't have an occupancy permit, and the judge ruled that it should be closed. Uh, that ultimately led to the settlement. So, I mean, uh, it would have been great if the city had done its job, but it didn't want to, so the private sector had to step in. The second lawsuit filed by the owner of the Globe Building asked for an injunction for the business not to operate. A judge ruled in favor of the gas station closing by August 1st. There will also be a deed restriction which prevents future use at the location for gas stations or convenience stores. There are issues with homeless, there's issues with drug dealing, um, uh, cruising, you know, a lot of activities that all sort of come together around this one location. Uh, that's unfortunate for all concern, but uh, it's the reality, and the only way to deal with it is to close the station and move on. Citizens. Alderman Rasheen Aldridge, who represents this area, says he feels a mix of emotions, including sadness that another downtown business is closing, but also hears residents' concerns. I have reached out to the owners at the gas station, and we are awaiting their comment. Reporting live here in downtown. Diamond Palmer, five on your side.